using an electric car. Somebody's short. Somebody's short. Me some leg room. So this is Marianne Bishop, the founder and uh, uh, what's the other word you want to use? The founder and creator of the Rosebud Continuum Echo oh, Science Center. No remote detected, so you got to get in before I guess I can uh, start it. No Mine remote detected. Mine. Okay. So, the remote, so no remote key. Place key in transmitter pocket. Is that that? Do I have to hold it longer? No. Is that okay. Started? Now it's not going to sound like anything because okay. there's no combustion. Is that started? That is started. Okay, now back. we have on here something. See that green button down there? Yeah. You can turn it off if you like, and then it's going to act like a regular car. But with that, it's one tap driving, meaning you don't need to use the brake unless you have to come to a sudden stop. With it on? With it on. Uh, if you want to turn it off, you can do that. The other thing is you could have it off, and then there's a little thing on the side here. If you see this? This is a hand brake. So if you were to take your foot off the gas pedal and press this, it would do regenerative braking and come to a stop. If you needed to really come to a stop, you'd use the brake. But in general, in an electric car, you only use the gas pedal, the gas pedal, the accelerator. And when you want to slow down, you just take your foot off the accelerator. And if that green button was on, it'll immediately go to regenerative braking. Maybe you should just start that way and get used to it because that's what most people do. That'll be weird. It's okay. easier than, than learning to use your hand sort yeah. of the handbrake. I started with the handbrake thing, and I was like, wait a minute, why am I even doing this? All right, now these things, let me come and get in the other side of the car. So, do, 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 do. there it is, ain't it a pretty car? We charged it with the solar panels that are on the roof of this here. Um, and it's going to be Marianne's first spin in the Chevy Bolt EUV. Well, that's the, no, that's the seat thing. I was trying to figure out the... How to, okay, here we go. Let me put on my seat belt here. Okay, so this is one of those push buttons. Yeah, it's just oh, a, cool. you just pull on it, right? Okay. You're, in, you're in drive. It doesn't have a parking brake. It sort of automatically puts it in parking brake when it's in park. Okay, so if I'm gonna put it in reverse, okay. Yeah, in reverse. Now, of course you've got that and you've got your mirrors. Yeah. Now it can go like a bat out of hell because these things have no pistons to try to spin and speed All up. Right. So as so soon as you step on it, it's like, poof. And as soon as you take your foot off, it like virtually stops. So That's it, because of that. Okay, so it doesn't roll right. like a regular car. See, so like, whoop, whoop, Yeah, whoop. unless we take that off. Okay. Let me take that off and you'll see how it feels. Okay. So it should feel right. more now like a regular like a, car now. Yeah, now it's rolling back like a yeah. regular car. Okay, gotcha. If you like that, we can keep that. No, and you that's can, fine. I just okay. can get used to it. And that's going to be the same thing. There's no rolling stop to a stop si a stoplight. Okay. But it sometimes takes a while for people to... Um, to get used to that, yeah. All right, so has this got the lights on? It's on auto, so the lights should be on, right? Yep. All right, drives really smooth. Doesn't feel like it's on, does it? No, and the AC works really good, too. That's perfect for Florida. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it started cooling down immediately, which my car does not do. Woo. Yeah. Woo. See what I mean? Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, when you're used to, like, let I can get used to it. It's just getting okay. used to it. Right. And then you use the brake when you feel you have to come to a complete stop, and uh, you know. And is that does that use less of the battery? Energy sending it back to the battery. It's called regenerative braking. So right. when you hear it go, mm, yeah, so it like, actually, as you can see, is charging the battery. So anytime you're going downhill, and your foot is off the gas pedal gravity is going to charge the batteries. Okay, so right now I'm at the stop sign, right. my foot is not on the brake and I haven't right. touched the brake exactly. at all. And once again, it accelerates like a bat out of hell, so be ginger with that. Oh, I like bats out of hell. Yeah, right? <laughs> like if you, if, you, if you floor it, you'll just like feel this acceleration like nothing. It's very smooth, very quiet. Yeah, it doesn't have that rumbling kind of... Uh, Super cool. The AC is blowing right on my face, so it feels good. Yeah. So I, about 15 years ago, I was flown out from Egypt to Los Angeles to make a trailer for a TV show we were going to do called Our Evolution Revolution with R in brackets, and it was really Our Evolution or Our Evolution. And they had me drive an electric car called the Zen Car. And you can see me in the video saying, wow, this feels so calming. I can see why it's called Zen. Like driving, usually you're shaking and you feel the motor going. Burr. 
and then a hybrid was such a revelation because when you came to a red light or a stop sign, it just kind of yeah, it kind of stopped and you felt calm. But here, the whole experience is calm. I did have to drive a hybrid once in California when we rented a car, and I really liked it. It was a newer version, and it was like every time you came to a stop light, it seemed like your car had turned off. So you, it was kind of freakish at first, but we used so little gas in comparison mm -hmm. to you know what you would have used. So. I thought that was a really nice car. That was probably about four years ago. And then you kind of get disappointed when you pass 20 miles an hour, 25 miles an hour, and then the engine kicks in. Yeah. And then it's like, oh, now I'm shaking again. So here, of course, you don't use any gas. And it's going to tell us, like right now, it says our range is at the way that we've been driving, 251 miles that we should get on this full charge a minimum of 205, a max of 296 if we really did that regenerative braking. And you, you learn to maximize efficiency with that one touch braking. So I just read an article not 30 minutes ago about being distributed in Florida. And it might be create a huge problem because we have this hurricane or tropical storm potentially headed our way and everybody's out getting gas. And there's a multitude of gas stations across the state that have some gas that has been contaminated with diesel. Oh my. And I'm thinking, hmm, well, TH doesn't have to worry about that. <laughs> and neither do you. <laughs> so um, I was telling Sonny, so this car is, is there for us and I really only need it a couple times a week. So if you want to use it, that's perfectly fine. But as I said, I feel like driving it, I don't buy new cars because mm -hmm. I feel like that's like holding to somebody else's newborn baby. So driving a new car is a little scary to me. I don't want to be that first person mm -hmm. that puts the ding into it right. or runs over a pothole or does something like that. So Sure. But this well, is it's a, this here is for a, the emergency. Yeah, it's a very smooth and uh, easy drive, I'll tell you that. Yeah, I mean... I can't wait till there's a moment when you feel the acceleration because when I got on the highway going from St. Pete and coming over the bridge, I was like, oh God, I hate this drive. I hate all the cars going back and forth, zipping past you. Yeah. It's very busy, especially as you get toward the airport. And then I found, wow, I can really sail past people. And in my previous cars, it was always, am I going to make it overtaking this car? Oh my gosh. <laughs> when you start acting like you should pedal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I do the Flint, Fred Flintstone thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, because because it's all torque. Because there's nothing to make uh, move from a dead. You know, I mean, it's, it's yeah, it's 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 stopped fully. But the rotor and the stator, once the electricity is applied, it causes electromagnetism and like you know, two poles, similar poles of a magnet just cannot stay together. They push each other. So once you press the accelerator, those things have to move. It cannot stay where it is. So it has to yeah. turn the wheel. And that's why it gets so fast. And the worst thing that happens is people who've never driven them before underestimate how lightly you have to press on the pedal. Yeah. And they go smashing into something. Again, I will say, I just made that turn. I never touched the brake. Yeah. At all without. So the brake pad should last a really long time. Yeah. Let's see where I'm going to park here. I'm going to park away so nobody dings us. Because that's what you do when you have a new car. Yep. Again, I'm going to pull up slow and stop. Not a brake in sight. I guess I'll brake so I can turn it back into to park because I don't know that I should put it in park without putting the brake on. Right. And then Power yeah. off. Get the key. Go inside. And we used uh, 3.4 miles um, at 3.9 miles per kilowatt hour. So now I it's inch. 0.9 kilowatt hour for that drive. Yeah. And what's interesting is that's what one hour charging on the slow charger at your house gives us four miles. Oh, okay. So if we plug it in for an hour, we'll have taken, Re reimbursed that it. if we do it for two hours, then it's the, the, the round trip. Thing. I don't, I that's the battery. Oops. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's I, the battery. the door underneath. and it went away. So. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. So the battery's all the way underneath. Yep. The whole, the whole bottom of the vehicle is the battery. And that's one disadvantage that to have it worked on, it has to go up on a, oh. a lift so they can get at it. And then when we walk away, then, oh, the fob. The you got the fob, okay. Cool. All right, well, there we have it. So your first impression is? I love it. I just wish, uh, I'm looking forward to the day when it makes sense for me to, to get one. Well, I have a car that's paid for, and I don't 
have the, <laughs> the money to, yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll drive it till it dies and then I'll be ready. Exactly. And maybe, or, uh, or unless somebody wants to donate one to me. Well, know, there you go. Can. And maybe Nicole's dad will be able to turn the right. broken hybrid into an electric car. Right. If we get that, I'll be happy to drive that. <laughs> All right. Great. I hope you got a secondary key, Rick. Yes. Okay.